Hello all, welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed about instead of trigger in PLSQL Oracle. But what I did, I did that instead of insert or update on employee view. And here, I have fired the query of insert only. So, that is a one problem over here. The problem is what? Whenever user try to update the data on employee view, our trigger will fire the insert and user will get an error of unique constraint violated. For example, you can just see over here that is a select star from employee view. There are 14 records over here. Now, I want to update the salary of clerk from employee view. So here I am trying to update the employee view set salary equal to salary plus 50. It means that I want 2990 over here where employee number is equal to and that number is 7782. So I am writing here that 7782 and you will get an error and the error is what that is unique constraint violated. Why? Because Whenever you perform update over here on employee view, I'm trying to insert the data and that data is already existed. That is the reason why I'm getting the error of unique constraint violated. So now what to do to resolve this issue? So it is very simple. Here you can write the condition that is if inserting then do this. So if inserting is in process, then I want to insert into two separate table. Else if, if it is updating, then I want to update the data of employee as well as department. So I'm writing here that if it is updating, then update the employee. And here you can write set employee name equal to colon new dot employee name that whatever the user has passed and salary is equal to colon new dot salary where you want to do this where employee number is equal to colon new dot employee number so based on employee number i am just updating the detail of employee same way i want to update the detail of department so i am writing here there is a update department set department name is equal to colon new dot department name that is whatever the user is passing the department name where department number is equal to colon new dot department number so whenever user performing the update it will make the update into this two table and whenever user perform the insert it will perform the insert into this two table so now my trigger is ready you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in plsql and you will get the message trigger is created now i want to update the employee view so i'm just writing over here that is a select start from employee view so now clark having the salary that is 2940 now i want to update this so i'm writing update employee view set salary is equal to salary plus 50 where employee number is equal to and that number that is 7782 and you will get the message one row updated now check select star from employee you will get 2990 not only this suppose if you want to change the name of the department for example select star from employee view and here name of the department is research i want to make the changes over here so here you can write the query update employee view set department name is equal to forensics where department number is equal to and that is 20. so this five records are updated of employee view and here you can just check select star from employee view you will get forensics over here and you can check into department also select star from department you will get here forensics so this is the way you can write the instead of trigger for insert or update on view
So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.